Hey guys, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit. Hey guys, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine. We're going to get right into it really quickly. If you're new here, I share makeup, skincare, sometimes fashion for us mature ladies. If that's something that interests you, would love to have you join. Just click that button below, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you click that notification bell too because I don't want you to miss out on any of my future content. So let's get into it. Okay. I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing what works for me. So you just have to kind of, I'm just sharing what I'm using and that's that on that. <laughs> so at nighttime, I don't do as much as I do during the day. This is what I'm currently doing and let's talk about it. So this is from Colleen Rothschild. This is her cleansing balm. Y'all, I love this. It smells kind of it's, it's the smell, the scent of it isn't bothering me anymore because I never used to like the scent and now I'm kind of like, I'm enjoying it. It's like butter. It's like butter when you put it on. Um, it doesn't dry my skin out. Now I have oily dry combo skin for reference. That's what I have. But I don't find that this strips my skin or anything like that, but it does a really, really good job of cleaning. I don't have it in front of me, but I use a muslin cloth to get it off. Now, I'm going to tell you, when I first started using those, I felt like I was using a hanky. Do you remember what hankies, hankies, yeah, handkerchiefs, hanky, that's what we used to call them. That's what I felt like I was putting on my face, a hanky, okay? But now I'm really used to it. I really like it. And the nice thing about muslin is it actually helps to exfoliate, which I didn't know. And it's anti by anti, it doesn't absorb bacteria or create bacteria. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I really like using those. That's what I do first. Then I go in and I take my Sephora eye makeup remover. Love this. It's been a repurchase for me. This gets off my waterproof because unfortunately, uh, yeah, I have to wear waterproof eye make or mascara because otherwise my lashes go straight. So love this. I use the, and I don't have in front of, oh yes, I do. <laughs> I do. This is how, no. These are the Shishido cotton squares. Love them. And what I will do is I will go like this. Break it in half like this. Use one for one eye, use the other for the other eye. That's all I need. And I do the same thing when I use those for my acids or whatever I use with my skincare. You know, I need to use a cotton. I use those. It You're you're using less product when you use those. And because some of them, like especially those round ones, they absorb it all and then you're not getting it on your skin. These are great. I'm telling you, I've tried the drugstore. People say the drugstore are the same. They're not. They're, they're not the same, because I've, I've tried them. They're not, they're definitely worth it, in my opinion. So that's what I do first. Then I go in and I take my spray, my Avene spray, and I spritz it. I mentioned this in my morning routine. Anytime I wash my face, I gotta, I gotta use this on my face. I let that sit in and dry. Then I will go in and I will use an essence. So I'm using this one up. Wouldn't recommend this SK2. I think it's overpriced, but this is really nice because I want to hydrate my skin. So I go in with this. I let that absorb. This is from Dermatology. This is the Needleless Serum. I purchased this myself, my own money. I was using the one from the Skin Diva. So what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to make it look like you. I don't think it, fillers are different. So I don't think it makes it look like your fillers, but what it's supposed to do is plump your skin up. So if you have any lines, like I concentrate on this area here and here and here and here, and you know, you get the idea, even on my neck there. So I use this at nighttime because during the day I use my vitamin C. Now I know that I mentioned that in another video and some of you guys said that it's okay to do that with the truth treatments, but I just really want to make sure on that. So I will update you guys and let you guys know in the comments that and then if I start using it because I know some of you guys said with the balm I'm not using the vitamin C balm I'm using the other vitamin C so I just want to make sure from truth treatments that it is okay to do but I was told I couldn't use it because it has peptides in it and so that's why I'm not using it twice a day but if I start using it twice a day because I have to contact them I will let you guys know but I just wanted to share that with you so I don't know how I feel about this 
particular one I want to keep using it and then I will let you know if I decide to repurchase it because this is really expensive um, I've never had fillers I don't have fillers in my face anywhere I don't have any Botox in my face I don't have any of it so I, I don't I can't compare it to that because I don't know but I'm just thinking I don't think it seems like it to me when you have fillers doesn't it look like your face is like if you have cheek fillers I'd be more like that right Oh, anyways, I use that as well. But after I after I do that, and it's been sitting on, I will go ahead and put my lash serum on. So this is from X Lash. This is what I've been using. Um, my lashes don't look that great lately. I'm just gonna be honest with you. They were looking great. Um, they're starting to grow back. Looks like they're all punched up here. They're starting to grow back. Looks like I'm missing lashes here. I'm actually not. They're just little baby lashes. So that's how it is when you use a lash serum, though. They they grow long and then they cycle out and they get shorter and yeah it's just i don't know i see people that have long lashes all the time i don't know how that works it's, it doesn't work for me no matter what i've used i've always had where it's long and then short but i'm still going to keep using it because it still does seem to be working for me so that's what i do after i do that then i go in and i put my eye cream on so lately i've been using this this was sent to me from freeze beauty this is the Sanitas, it's supposed to help depuff and get rid of dark circles and all that. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I haven't been using it very long, but I love the packaging. Every eye product should be like this. See where it's got that pump so you're not sticking your fingers in there? I may repurchase it just because of that. Seriously. Or not repurchase it. It was sent to me. I may purchase it. We'll see how it goes. I will let you know my thoughts on it, but that is what I'm using. So I apply it here and I tap it in. I don't put it on my upper part of my eyes. I haven't been doing that. I just put it underneath. Then after I do that, then there's a couple things that I do when I alternate these. So I'm using a retinol. So I'm using the Truth Treatments AHA Mineral Exfoliator. And the other one that I have is the Truth Treatments Resurfacing 1% Retinol Light. So you use these three times a week, so I alternate them. So then like I use this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday's off. So that way I get my three days in. This one I apply with my shishudo, shishido, tomato, tomato. Let's just call the whole thing off, okay? So I just go in and pump, pump, pump it on. And then I will just go ahead and put it on my face and my neck. When I'm using this, I have this little metal spoon. I just open it up and it's this greenish, yellowish color. I just take it and I scoop a little bit out. Put it on my finger and then I go ahead and apply it. And I even get it on my neck and everything. So both of those three times a week. I let it sit on. Then I will go in with a moisturizer. So the one that I've been using is this one. This is from Neutrogena. This is the Hydro Boost. This is for extra dry skin. So I will use that. And sometimes, or not sometimes, when I'm done with this, I want to go back to this because this I got at the Nordstrom sale last year. <laughs> I just finished the other one, just about. Um, so I'll start using this one. So I just wanted to share that. Then the last thing I do is I will use a lip balm. So lately I've been using this. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask Lip Balm. So I will apply this. One thing that it says you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put it on and wipe it off. I don't get the point of that. If I'm putting something on, why am I wiping it off? So I don't. I just put it on my lips for the night. My morning routine is definitely more I have a lot more involved in that than my evening. I don't really do masks or anything at nighttime. If I'm going to do a mask, I do it during the day because when I could, I just don't feel like doing it at nighttime. So it's probably better that I do less at nighttime because I really just want to go to bed. Um, but yeah, that is, that's my routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram and let me know what your favorite must have nighttime skincare products are would love to hear from you and i will catch you guys all in my next video bye so i was told that i can't use this actually did i just i'll have to film that okay
I'm not too far and I'm not too close. We don't need to be that close. Okay. You know what time it is. I'm for the Beyonce fan. Wait a minute. I'm really confused. Let me do that again because I don't know what the hell I just did. I don't... Oh, I'd be having a menopausal moment.